And what is this search for meaning that you have? I think I've lived before. I think I was a dog before, that's for sure. But I once saw a psychic who, and I don't do that as a rule, but my sister said this woman's supposed to be amazing. <laughs> anyway, so I went with her and she told me, and this freaked me out, because she said a lot of stuff that was real, just a long time ago, that was true. And she said, you should have been an actress or a singer, and I said, I am. She said, then you are doing exactly what you should be doing. She said, in your previous life, one of my previous lives, obviously, you were an Italian diva and you died singing on stage. And <laughs> I thought, oh my God. There is so much about that that makes sense to me. First of all, Italian, anything Italian. I speak French and English, I get around in Italian. I'm not fluent. But Italian anything is like, I took one summer course in my third year of university, studied Italian just to do something in the summer. I swear to God, it's still all there. I just, it just, I aced that course. I went to Italy once. I gave myself one day where I was all by myself. I spoke Italian all day. I learned some stuff. I had conversations and I talked to myself in Italian so I won't forget it. And I want to better and better. That's my next language. And there is something about it, the food, the, the language that I, I know this stuff. It's like, where does that come from? When I sing sometimes, when it's all going really well, <laughs> and the music is amazing, and the song is great, and my voice feels great, and whatever, I sometimes feel um, that if I didn't keep my head about me, I really could go to a place, and I, I don't think I want to go quite that deep when I'm in performance, because you still have to keep it together. But maybe that's why I like the heartbreak songs and the real dramatic, my life is over, I'm gonna die kind of songs. I feel like I could cry for the whole freaking world when I sing, when it's that kind of song, and when it's all perfect and the stars align. I swear to God, it's, uh, it's a weird, difficult to explain feeling. I sometimes feel like I could just friggin' fly. And then I could just somehow help get all the sadness out of the world. And does that come, does that come <laughs> just with singing? Or does that come, say, with speaking or a poem? Or hearing something? Or is that only when you sing? I think that's when I sing. Yeah. Wow. There's some, I mean, I love, you know, a great, a great monologue is as huge and amazing as a great song in the right place and, you know, the, but there's just that extra little something. When you add music, there's, it's heightened. It's, it's just heightened. And you, you take it to another, not, not another level, I can't say that, because I've been just as affected by an amazing play as an amazing musical. But you can sing a song out of nowhere, but then you can listen to uh, an instrumental, an orchestral recording. Man, if you don't get moved listening to Barber's Adagio for Strings or something, then there's something wrong with you. You know, I can go there too. That is... But we do, they are saying now that music came before speech in evolution. Music was first, speech came mm. later, and that music connects the brain, connects parts of the brain and us that speech or rational thought does not connect, which is why music is so powerful with Alzheimer's patients. Yes. Someone can be comatose for, or Alzheimer's away for years and years and years, they don't speak, they don't move, they play a piece of music, boom, they come to life. Like that, have you seen that documentary, Alive Inside? Yes. That's, oh yeah. my God. You so know, my father had Alzheimer's and my mother has Alzheimer's now. Wow. He's passed away. She is in a home and yeah, I've dealt with that a lot. I've looked into all that. Yes, yes, yes. So it's something in your accessing of music and taking us there as an artist. 
It's about that other world, as it were. But I want to go back to the meaning. Why is Louise rooted on meaning? I mean, I, I have lots of great performer friends, and some of them are, and some of them are not. Um, you know, I just work with some people on set who couldn't care about meaning if it drove over them with a five-ton yeah. truck. Yeah. So what is it about you and meaning? I think my husband always says, he always says this to me, you're the, you're the, the least filtered person I have ever met. Things affect me deeply, and that's, that's a good thing. It helps in what I do, for, but it's also a hard thing to live with, I find. If I see a person who is having a really hard time or who is physically really disabled or, or somebody hit their dog or, oh my God, I mean, I physically feel that. It, I wish it didn't hit me so hard. Things really affect me. And I think things are all very important. <laughs> but when something is funny, it's, it's that funny too. And I have a thing about celebrating every little friggin' moment. You can't just let stuff go by. It has to mean something or else every day is like every other goddamn day. It's all gonna be a wash. And I think that's maybe where it comes from. My mother was a very effusive. Uh, she liked to sing and she sang really loud. She loved to sing. <laughs> and she was not a great singer, but she loved to sing. What was her And music? it was a joyous, well, French Canadian, you know, folk songs. And uh, she loved Edith Piaf. That's probably where I get my love of that from because she used to sing those songs. Um, and La Bolduc, who is a French Canadian down home housewife who was quite famous during the war, and she wrote funny little songs. I mean, they were fantastic. But. And did you sing with her? Yeah, yeah. Did oh, your family I love sing? to sing. My sister liked to sing too. She's an interior designer. She can carry a tune, and she and I sang all the time together. We had, when I was a kid, the year I was born, my father bought an Etzel convertible, okay? <laughs> a 57 red. Etzel convertible, black leather interior. We'd put the top down and go on road trips in the summer. My sister and I in the back seat, we sang all the way we always did. And we were all car sick, all three of us, my little brother too. One would start, the other two would bark right afterwards. It was a given. But when we started to feel a little funny, my mother would say, okay, mauve chante une chanson. And she'd sing us a song with a dirty word in it or something. And that would get us laughing and we wouldn't be sick anymore. But singing was, yeah, that was the pastime on these trips. And we figured out little harmonies and little rhythms we would tap on. So it's always definitely been a thing with me that I loved. I just liked singing, but my parents did. They'd have a party. They'd all sit in a circle. And they went around. That's an old French Canadian thing, too. Each one sang their song, one after the other. At one point in that party, all sitting there with their drinks. Ma Tante Noëlle would always sing the same answering song and she, she'd go and they'd all in. Like, it was a thing. So it was, yeah, it was part of my life, but not, not as something you do to earn a living. You know what right, I mean? Right, 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 it was right, just right. something you did for With fun. an instrument? Was there an instrument there? Someone's playing the piano or someone's playing the... No, uh, no? always just... Just no, straight up. These guys, they didn't play. I played the piano. I started to learn when I was seven because my mother just said, because my mother had wanted to learn to play the piano. So wait a minute, the mystery of your incredible talent has just been revealed to me, right? It was in your life, it's your upbringing, it's your family, it's the emotions within your family, it's sure. growing up, it's your mom, it's your dad, it's your trips. No wonder you want to you wanna express through song. Wow. Well, I know my sister doesn't and my brother either. Yeah. No music, like, yeah, I'm the only one who went into the this field in all my relatives. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay, what do you mean by this field, eh? <laughs>